Good morning everyone. Um, firstly I'd like to apologise for not having a video uploaded yesterday. I just wasn't feeling up to it. Um, I was a bit tender yesterday. So I'm going to make a few tags um, and I have this. It's like a baroque style um, stamp. Um, and I'm just going to stamp a background on this. Um, so I'm going to take a few different colours. Um, we'll go for Wilted Violet, Broken China, Cracked Pistachio. And let me see, maybe a red. I'll just try and pull the red out two seconds. I just need to move my phone without it moving. Stay. So maybe picked raspberry, I think. I can move the phone again because it's just about to fall. Right. So I've got a few nice colours there. And excuse me if I'm jittering about, I'm just still not 100%, so I'm a bit jittery. So I'm just taking my pad to my stamp. And I think I'll do it this way. One. Just using a baby wipe, give it a wipe over. I don't know why that's mapped there, it must be um, stays on. I've used on it at some point. Right, I've got cracked pistachio here, I love this colour. a fresh green colour. So pretty. I'll do that one just about here. I'm not worried about it being strong at some points and weaker at other. That's then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the wilted violet. And I'm just, in fact, I might be able to get two of these done on this one. Be able to. And I'm just going to go along the bottom. Just a wee bit, not hundreds on it. I need to add another wee bit there, so just add a wee bit here. Same. And that's just really juicy because it's a new pad. <laughs> I 
And then we'll use the picked raspberry up the top part. Oops, that's not on right. What's that now? And I'm just doing one at a time, this one. Hopefully catch the edge of that one. There we go. Perfect. It just hadn't caught properly. Right, so we can get rid of that stump now. There for a minute. And then I'm just going to try and dry this off quickly. Then what I'm going to do, I'm trying to think. What do I want on top of it? solid stamp here. Make sure that's pressed on properly. What have I got here? Embossing. <sighs> this is really dressy, this pad. You'll see this glistening a wee. really juicy. So I'm just going to press that over the top here. And 
and grab my scrap of paper. I'll need to do these one at a time. So. And what I've got here is clear beauty. So I'm just splattering it on. And it doesn't seem to have stuck very well. So I'm just going to tilt it back on and give it a wee press on. And hope that's worked a bit better. Not really. I'm going to place that aside, give that a wee brush off and I will use a different ink I think. don't know why it's not working but I'm not going to mess about with it, I'll just use something else. So. Um, the one I just used. So I'll give this a wee wipe off. Make sure clean. Make sure it's dry. Versa fan here. So we'll try that instead. And hope this is a bit better. I mean, it is sticky. I can feel it pulling on it. So, fingers crossed. So I'm just going to stamp this down on my tag. Just hope it impresses properly. And then I'll just Put it under my embossing. That's worked a bit better. I'm just going to give it another pass through. Move it out the road and we'll give this a wee clean off. properly.
pieces. And then what I'm going to do is using, um, I think I'll use faded jeans because that's quite dark. I'm just making sure that mine's plenty on it and then I'm just going in and going over this and what you'll see is where the the ute is it will um, resist it And those wee white speckles in the back actually add to the atmospheric of it because it makes it look as though it's stars. And then all you do is get for me anyway. I just like to go in with baby wipe, wrap it around your finger and then just gently go over the top of your image. And you'll actually see it pop completely. And as I said, with the the white, I mean that's just been loose beauty that's been on that. And as I said, for me that just actually adds atmosphere to it. Um, and you can do any background you like in it. Um, some prefer to do it just pure black on a black background. Um, I just prefer the colour in it. Um, and you can see all the colour, um, even the pink and the tip of her wings, purple, the green, the blue, so it just gives you a wee bit of colour in it. And as I said, it works with any mixture and you can make it as dark as you like and you can go back in with more. and just really intensify it um, you could go in with trying to see chip sapphire the darkest of the blues. You can go in with that. And then as I said, just using your baby wipe 
over top of your fairy just to take off the excess ink and you can actually do it with a dry piece of tissue if you don't want to go in with the damp that just makes a pop even more with the darker and then all you do is add your resentment um, if you wish go in with your dark on it to begin with squeeze my fingers Just a quick wipe. And I'll need to dry that off obviously because it'll be still wet. What I'll do actually is grab a coloured um, emboss. So I'll pick maybe, let's see what I've got here. Order, which is what I did properly but I think it comes out more of a um, ready colour and covered mink oh the baby Good morning, darling. I'm filming. Why? I'm just going to I'm just going to clean round about my pad, uh, my stamp block, because I've managed to get some on that. Just gonna put it on. Oops. Take that out the road. Good impression there. I'm 
Okay, put the lid back on that. I don't want that drying out. Then I will grab this and my scrap paper. What, Alan? Is that going to be uh, the Rutherden and it was August? No. Why? It's the 27th. No, Madden said it was the 7th. It's not. The 27th. <gasps> I'm filming, Alan. So I'm just going to move this over here and scoop that back in. Give that a wipe off. And you'll see there is a lot of peril round about it. That's because of the type of um, embossing powder it is, it's got a luster about it. So I'm just going to melt this and you'll see it totally change. And as I said, it is really, really shimmery, which makes it <laughs> quite hard to show. Um, I'm just going to go over it with a wet wipe here, just to try and take some of the luster off it. It's still quite shimmery, but you can see the effect you get and you can do it the other way as well where you can stamp it on clear um, it's not really clear on the back of that way, let's see if I can find another tag So you can actually just stamp this directly on clear. I'm just letting it set on to the paper. Lift it and you can see the outline of that there on camera. Put that all up in there. today. Then just take your duty, scatter it over it. Sorry I just moved that camera slightly there. Put 
hold that on that separate this back. Let's have And because it's still warm, I'm going to put a certain coat on it. Let me heat it up again. If it's fine detail, don't do a second layer with you two, because it will be um, too heavy. But because this is quite a solid image, it's all right. about to cool it down. Maybe use the green and the blue. I think I'll use the broken china. What I'm doing is just putting it directly onto my craft mat. So I'm going to give it a wee spritz first because it's roasting. So I want to just cool it down first. Or the ink will dry as soon as it hits the table. That's a bit better. So I'm just putting a wee bit of blue on there, a wee bit of green for the bottom part, a wee minute down, I'm just going to spritz that with water, another wee spritz, and then what I'm going to do is put my tag straight in it and just give it a wee mush about. And then lift it up and another wee quick mush about. And then if you give the actual tag a spritz, it'll actually run into the places that it's meant to. And then you just dab it off. And you can repeat that to intensify the colour. So it's just dipping it in. until you're happy with the amount of colour it's got on it 
and if you want just clean that part off you can actually go in with a brush just wipe that off a bit and what you do is go in at the side of your pad just here pick up some colour on your brush and then just a wee bit of water from your mat and just gently brush maybe the parts that your um, mat isn't picking up you can go back in with another wee bit of the green and just intensify the, the grass area I'm to be at the bottom and just paint it in and then you can go in with your blue again and the chip sapphire is quite light so I might go in with something a bit darker and I'm not too worried about cross contaminating because I'm using the side of the mat it's not a problem then just pick up a wee bit of water and just intensify your colour on it Again, just even add a wee bit of water there again just to liquefy it again back in pick up another wee bit of blue and then just bring your colour down and then just clean it off and then you can just dry it China. So you've got that and as I said you can go back in if you feel that the sky is too light add a wee bit of the faded jeans I mean that's very blue so you're just maybe a wee spritz of water there liquefy it a bit and then just paint it in And this isn't water um, tags, this isn't watercolour tags, these are just normal paper. So they will pill if you add too much to them. But, I mean that's just a lovely wee tag if you were sending out a wee thank you gift or whatever. So that's the different ones we've got there. We've got the, the dark on dark. We've got... I made a mistake <laughs> and then we've got the coloured with the dark on top so have a wee go with your different embossing powders and see what you come up with um, and if the worst happens that you don't like it what's going to make a problem you just chop them up and use them in your mixed media or add them to your um, collages or just cut out your fairy and use it in a card. Anyway thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.